Sorry, everybody right. who's watching. But uh, in this case, why would, you, uh, why would you main Snake and put Mario in your banner? Like, uh, that makes no sense to me. But hey, man, you, you live your life the way you want to, and you play your mains how you feel comfortable. Could be a secondary, could be a secondary, and already starting off with a C4. And remember, Roz needs to be careful because, sure, you can get those areas off the shield that are meant to be safe, mm -hmm. but grenade privilege. Exactly. Like, I saw previously in a different set that it was a Shulk versus a Snake, and the Snake just kept putting out these grenades and shielding, and anytime Shulk would just hit the shield, he would just eat a grenade for some free damage. you got to be careful. Yeah. Raz Mikazi keeping a little bit of the spacing here, and the one thing I do like is that he's kind of just playing neutral in the sense where, like, I kind of want to stand here, wait for your grenades, respect them, toss in a turn up, see what I can get for a follow-up, especially if you're going to be holding shield after you grab a grenade. He's doing such a good job. I mean, a lot of C4 usage. I'm actually mm -hmm. surprised. This is a very projectile. I know Snake's a projectile heavy character, but... All right, Sli but Slicer, like, throwing everything out. He's got a whole arsenal coming into play and unable to find anything, but it works though, because if Peach is able to run you over with these aerials, it spells disaster for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> nice, all the way seeing the fact that Slicer, he would have pushed Slicer and could have gone for a grab, but instead it goes for dash attack. Good spacing here, gets away from the C4, but should have binded the grenade. Yeah, he's able to land the grab and back there. Here comes the Nikita. This is this is the tool that everyone is talking about, because it invalidates so many matchups that Snake would have struggled in. Yeah. Oh, he's just looking for a Z4, but there we go. Great fair. <laughs> great Ross. fair and great trade, trade for Ross Makazi. Able to take the first stock. Yeah, he needs to find something down. And Slicer already showing his hand by putting on so many up tilts. He's got to be careful. Yeah. For sure, if you finally get it. But Ross is expecting it, and you need to be very careful because as soon as you blink, the damage will definitely start being in the percent. Especially with Snake's way. You think about Snake and his grab combos and the damage he's able to input on players. That's one thing that he uh, that he has, especially for Peach 2 as well. You're looking at her flow cancels, right? She's quite an explosive character in terms of combos and damage, as well as her ability to edge guard other characters. Great oh. use of directional air dodge, only able to send to the other side. Can he make the recovery? I like the drift back and even using the side B to give himself a little bit of momentum, but unfortunately that forward air has got some startup and will not even able to be traded with a down dash attack from Snake. Now, this is the biggest problem that Slicer has, that Slicer can really exploit. Snake can run away with Snock so fast and is able to stack so much damage off already like that. 52% and the mortar is coming out, but no follow-up just yet. Slicer, I love this use of the C4, but is it too much? It's it's kind of one of those deals where like if you do use that C4, even if you're not using it to try to hide it or definitely confuse your opponent, it is a still an explosive. And honestly, it allows your opponent to give a little bit of respect. It might cause him to hold shield. But no tech. No tech. No tech. If there's something you gotta do in this game, it's tech. But it surely might have caught. It might have caught Slicer off surprise that actually Roz went this deep. And Anakita, you shouldn't use it that close because you want to make sure when you're safe. And right now, Slicer setting up camp. He's just like, even though I'm at disadvantage, I'm still gonna play to my win condition. Finally able to take a stock just like that. Roz gets his stock taken, but with a lot of confidence in his play, he still should be able to take it. Slicer constantly throwing out these projectiles left and right, sending up this wall, but he actually goes aggressive. Oof. First hit a first hit a forward tilt. Yeah. Slicer, the one thing I do like though is that he's trying to make sure, like, if he, even if he is reproaching Roz Makazi, he's got some sort of game plan to even if Roz Makazi tries to make a run for it or go for an out of shield option, like you said, right? Hitting Snake while he holds shield while he's in grenade is going to be less of a trade that you want to see him more often. Nice down, down air, almost gets the forward air. Solid call out there trying to go for another forward air, but he gets the upper instead. For Roz Makazi, I feel like he's kind of want to get used to reading Snake and his recovery because Snake's love to go for that cypher down tilt and he immediately backs off. I like that. And Snakes love to recover high. It's one of their safest options they can do because they can just keep doing D-reversals with their grenades to get out of it. But right now, Slicer set him up a wall of explosives once again. This match has been going on for quite a bit, but the Nikita comes in for a little more damage. But as I said, Roz Mikazi gets, a, gets the grab, and he tries to catch it out, but unfortunately for him, Slicer gets away with it. Nice, lands. Turn up, gets the grab. Just kind of want to see from Roz. Oh, Condition his opponent to hold shield and there's good space forward there and he immediately gets the punish here. And here comes the Dada's as well. It's gonna collide with the grenade though, unfortunately. Oh, oh god, that could have been massive. What I'd like to see from Slasher is I would like to see a down throw into a tech chase potentially, especially at this percent, but he eats a back air instead. Russ is so close to getting this and he misses the back air just barely. He went for the down tilt to try to two frame. Oh, no. no way that kills. It did. 
I respect that he wanted a cross up, but unfortunately for him, in the middle of that cross up, he should have cons considered Snake's up tilt, which is also a really good anti air and a good kill option. And let's be honest here, Slayster has made it known that he will go for that up tilt oh, all yeah. the time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's been going for that move quite a few times, honestly. So for Razumakazi, it was more of like, okay, this is more of a shame on me than shame on you. Like, he went for the cross-up, it was intelligent, but it was just that one character, Snake, who's got a kill off of an up tilt, yeah. which was really unfortunate for him. He controlled the match so well, but like I said, Snake can steal away a game at any point notice. All right, Roz, a little bit in deep thought here. I wonder what kind of stage, I was gonna say, if he's going for any kind of stages, he might be something picking something that's a little bit more smaller for Peach, especially to be able to kill the forward air and able to edge guard well with float. Yeah, so it's got different, and as soon as you say that, I cannot call you a liar anymore because we're seeing a Mario from Slicer. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man, it's right there on this uh, Twitter header banner. I'm not gonna lie, like, come on, man, you can't. I know for sure this guy means Mario according to Twitter. Cancel. The, the, be the best uh, part about people in their Twitter is they always put the underscore SSB, so whenever I'm looking for somebody, like, I was like, all right, cool, I just add underscore SSB to the name. I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, I will find the person. But here it comes, the strings right now. Mario can get a lot of strings down. This is a very this is a very interesting matchup because Ross, all he needs is a great confirm, and he's able to exploit the fact that Mario, his recovery is a little sus, but as soon as they say that, they're trading back and forth. And here comes the grab. It's a little unsafe and unable to find any more oh. follow-ups. Nice. Roz with a bit of reverse for the oh. turn-up pull into the down throw there. It was going to be the one thing stopping Slice from coming back. Gets oh, grabbed. No. There's a bomb. <sighs> I, I respect it. The one thing he, uh, I would have loved to have seen Roz Makazi do is hold bomb and then maybe throw it and have some kind of mix-up because Peach, doesn't uh, Peach does not take any damage to herself if she throws the bomb downwards. He could have pulled a snake yeah. to go for a, a ledge trap attempt, but to find out 160%, Slicer in a lot of trouble, and he's got no jump because mm. that turn-up took it away. Yeah, he built up all the percent on himself, and not only that, but Ross Makazi as well, so... And I think the thing is, is that Roz loves this matchup because Snake was always running away from it, refusing to fight up front. Slicer is forced to come up front with this Mario to mm -hmm. get these strings off, and Peach can fight back. The one thing I, I was going to say, I, just as I will the thought into my mind, I kind of want to see him go for fireballs just to condition Razma Kazi to hold shield and then probably go for a fire up like that. See how he's now trying to make that play, right? That's the, what he's looking for for an opportunity is a grab or a fireball ability to go ahead and get some a little bit of control. He's trying to find something down. He's going to go for a dash deck, actually, 171%. You're seeing Slicer go for these attacks multiple times. He doesn't hide what he does. Mm. He doesn't save it. He's going for an up smash. He'll whiff it out four or five times and miss. But Slicer finally takes the stuff just like that. But right now, 51%, Roz can do amazing things with it. And right now, it's instead of Slicer conditioning Roz to shield, it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. Good forward air. There's going to be Roz's ability to go for an edge guard. Oh. And Slicer with a cape. <laughs> I like that because he doesn't want to get hit by the turnip. He's able to cape it away and reverses Roz. But here comes the up air. He's doing a falling up air to try to combo strength or something else, but a perfect place back air. Raz doing a great job. Slicer has to dodge out on those turnips because it's been gimping his recovery 24-7 so far. Yep. Good flood, a little bit of stage control. And he's going Direct for it, uh, yeah. Directional it's, it's, air dodge, but only into the arms of an angel here. And a whiff, a whiff counter, but no follow-up just yet. Great job. He went for the second up air, and Raz expected him to follow up, so he went for the up air and then drifted away to avoid the mm -hmm. hit. But as soon as I speak of that, Ross takes a stock just like that with 34% only on him. He's controlling this match. Slicer, this is the struggle of a Mario when you want to get in, but your opponent equally wants you to go in on them. And he's going to get all these whips. He's going for these back air chains, but Ross's arrows are just completely beating out Mario's. Yep. Up air, nice. Looking for a possible back air, but unfortunately missed this opportunity. I'm kind of now starting to wonder why would Slicer switch from Snake to Mario, seeing as how game one kind of went more in his favor, right? Like the, you have a lot of great combos with Mario. You are able to go ahead and rack up damage a lot, much, much more efficiently in terms of speed. But Snake sometimes giving Peach the hard time to land because she does have to land after float. And also right there, oh my goodness, it slaps him with the crown. And also the fact he way overcommitted for that up smash. Right? Yeah. Not only that, Slicer kind of committed to going to Mario when I felt like honestly the best play here was to just stay Snake. Like I know I know his Twitter says has the Mario here, but it, honestly, what gave you the W the first time around 
chances are I may still give you the W next time around, even if it's on Battlefield. Like, Mario does benefit from the fact that Battlefield does have platforms, and he's able to ladder you up there, but would you really trade that in for a character that dominates off the stage control and that won you the first game? Yeah. I yeah. mean, some, some players like to switch characters for strategy, so maybe your opponent's got to read on what it is, but Slicer controlled the match, was mm -hmm. able to wall out with the projectiles that Peach struggles with, and switching off of it, as soon as Raz saw Slicer switch to Mario, he's like, oh, this is a lot better for Oh, me. Yeah. yeah, much better. So you can't do that, especially against when you're trying to go to Switch Pass, one of the biggest events. It's attracting players of all calibers. You can't underestimate anyone. Right. Never. You never sleep on your opponent, man, especially. That's the last thing you want to do, sleep on an opponent. And here we go. Slicer switching back to the Snake, as we both expected. So hopefully, we we'll see a different game. So moving on for it, right back on the Animal Crossing stage itself. So Slicer, hopefully he's got a different plan. And we're starting to see, at first when the game started, he actually went forward for some aerial attacks. I'm like, <laughs> you gotta you gotta switch off that Mario playstyle. You gotta move on to the snake one. Nice, great opportunity. A little bit of pressure there with <laughs> the grenade. Yeah, doing the best as he can, trying to get away with it. Slicer's not afraid to throw out these C4s. Like most snake players, like MVD, like to hide the C4 for yeah. the perfect moment. Slicer's just saying, hey, yeah, it's part of my arsenal. I like to use it as the wall off my opponents. Look at that. He just, he's not afraid to do it. What's crazy, too, honestly, is that it could be one thing that Razumakazi is more conditioned to the traditional style of snake rather than the kind of snake player we're seeing here from Slicer. Every snake is a little bit different here. But Slicer is definitely a snake of his own breed. Yeah, for sure, and that's something that Razma Kazumi may not be able to understand. He gets the weak of it, and here comes the grab. What's the read oh, option? Like he it. got it, but he doesn't get it. He actually baited up the air to slice him with an incredible play. Yeah, man, Razma Kazumi definitely returned to the scene of the crime after he had just escaped. Snake with the high recovery and the B reverse grenade pool. Classic snake stuff we're seeing here. Uh, he's able to get away with that, and here comes the grenade once more. This is the, this is the longest it seems Slicer hold on to that C4. Hopefully, it doesn't bite him in the back. And as soon as I say that, he just detonates it and just walks away. Slicer, doing a great job controlling the match. He just needs to set up camp with these projectiles and with these grenades. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, wait for the landing here. Nice. Good forward throw. Ross McCausley looking for stage control. Tried to land with a forward air. And I like the delay on it because it would have gets Slicer and the opportunity to try to come back and take center stage. Oh, he jabbed in the wrong direction. Not throwing him off stage with Slicer. Force in these lead trap situations. He's not afraid. This is fearless from him. You understand? Yeah. He's not afraid to be in this corner and he just simply just rolls away from Ross. So he gets nothing off of it. Nah, uh, try to confirm the turn. I like that play, but I would have loved to have seen him drop the turn up a little bit and then try to follow for, go for a follow up. And here Grenade. Uh, put oh. that RPG away from here, Slicer. Rise will punish you all the time. I would have loved the down smash because that would have covered the front and the back option if Roz Mikazi got one for the cross up, but that's the problem here. He did not amount, he did not account for the cross up. He only accounted for the first play. Doing such a good job right now. He's baiting it out. It needs to be really careful. Once again, C4, it's like a line of scrimmage in a sort yeah. of a way. Roz cannot pass it, and if he does, they're both on opposite sides of the C4. Roz can't get too close to it. He needs to be really careful. As soon as I say that, he's gonna go ahead and poke away at that shield slicer. Not afraid, gets hit with the turnip though, and the grenade actually forces oh. him up. He's able to get away with that, and V reverses in the other direction to avoid Roz's pressure. Ooh. It's so close, and he throws him right now. He knows he's not an up tilt kill percent, and he's throwing out these up airs, the up smashes, I should say, like these borders coming left to right, and he eats a Nikita rocket right to the face. Oh, I like it, brings it right back from the center. Letting go of it early. That C4 is going to come down pretty soon from Slicer. And here it comes. Roz. It's a very frustrating game to play, especially against the Snake. And especially out of Slicer's caliber, who's constantly throwing out these projectiles. Oh. And he's going to get hit with it. And he can't escape death from that one. I mean, sometimes what happens with Nikita is you don't even bother to try to confuse your opponent. You're just going to send it straight there. It goes pretty. It goes pretty fast. Yeah. And a lot of things coming in right now. Does take a stock test pass. So Roz still has potential to come back because this is last stock, last game. Oh, Mister, here's the grab, followed by the tech chase. Only the dash attack, no other option. Not able to find anything off of that one. Stitch faces could be big damage if Roz is able to find some kind of nair combo. Mm -hmm. Stitch is out. It oh, the shield, shield damage, damage though. Yeah, but 
It shouldn't matter because Slicer, you see it many times, he's not forcing the shield a lot. He just simply runs away with his projectiles and camps Ross out. And Ross is just standing in this corner feeling clueless in what to do. Mm -hmm. And here goes the down air, the side tilt, forcing him off one more time, 55%. Slicer this time going a little more aggressive than we're used to. Yep. Down so, throw, back air, I like that. Brings him right back to the other side and a nice flow to get around here, but missed the grab. That's the one thing I wanted to see from Razmakazi here is starting to adapt to the, the shield that Snake has sometimes and go for grabs. Yeah, Slicer went really aggressive there and then quickly realized that it wasn't working out. So right now he is back to the camping and Peach Bomber does miss and riots once again. Slicer just simply runs away with these projectiles in hand. He goes aggressive at the right moments. He's biding his time, knowing exactly that Ross is feeling the pressure and there are so many projectiles projectiles being sent out left and right. The, I mean, for us, like, too, it's also his composure. Like, I like the fact that he's like, hey, we're approaching three minutes, right? We've been playing this match for five minutes. For me here, it's how long can I remain composed and how long can I deal with Snake Grenade, C4, and even, of course, the Nikita at some points. As long as Razmakazi honestly stays calm, this could be a game he could take away over Slicer. Yeah, he's got oh, something nice. down. Oh, oh, he did a directional air dodge. That's a huge opportunity. He, Miss he even had a whiff punish too because he ran away and it would have been an opportunity to definitely understand like Snake's Michael recovery. But unfortunately that Nikita is doing a lot of work right here, especially with Ross McCauley off the stage. But do you remember, even though this is a struggle for Ross, it's even percent for yeah. both these players. So it's definitely possible. And here comes the projectiles throwing out. The back air forces the snake off on the other side. He's going for an aerial. He detects it finally. Slicer, he detects it again. Is he able to get he's back gonna run out of, he's, No, gonna he's say, out of he's gonna He's going to run out of fuel. Yeah, at that point, like going for the one thing that doesn't happen to Cypher. It does not replenish how much uh, energy it has to make sure it gives you the recovery. So by the third time that he tried to go for it, honestly, Raz Makazi had already made the right play. Especially the fact that he act. I'm sorry. Especially the fact that Slicer opted to go low. Yeah, you don't want to go low. It, it was just that fear that you're mm -hmm. like, oh, Peach can catch me up high. I need to be really careful. 